Dumpty friends! Welcome to Raincrest Farms Makery. I'm Robin and behind the computer, behind the camera is my husband Bill. You might hear his voice from time to time. So welcome, come on in, get yourself, get yourself a snack and a beverage and we're gonna do a perfect craft for warmer weather of spring and summer. So get on in here, get comfortable. Comment hello in the in the comments so we know you're here. What's the magic word tonight? The magic word tonight should be on the. I know. I go on. The the magic word tonight is popsicle. Popsicle. And I think I have it, so it doesn't matter how you spell it. It, it should get you. It should get you entered. No, it's not in there. No, honey, did you just pin that? That is what you pin. No, there. that's what's automatically pinned. Oh. You need to. You need to. I need to up, update that I or something. That. I do. Okay, you need to update I, that. I, I'll pin just, the other one that's on we're the just, note Don't mind us. We're just having a little conversation. This one's there we go. Tonight's keyword is popsicle. Okay, that's. Watch this. Just watch okay. this. But, okay. It's there that's now. not the pinned comment, though. That's the information. Whatever. It says it, popsicle it, right there. I know, but it also says down further on your note. Just don't mind us. Let me get this set up real quick while we're working this out. Okay, so it's going to go to a specific post. Hey, Ken, hello, welcome home from Las Vegas. Hope you had a great trip. You said your grandkids wore you out. Is that right? Publish that. Mm -hmm. Hey Sherry, hello, welcome. Okay, our our keyword for today is popsicle. So if you want, oh now you're sick. Oh well, that's that's no good. At least you waited till you got home. You're not going to be have chicken and mashed potatoes and green beans. Yeah, even though it was, even though today is National Pigs in a Blanket Day, Whatever. we had chicken. Okay, I think. I think I'm set up, hopefully. So again, Popsicle is the keyword, gets you entered into our weekly drawing. We had our very first weekly drawing yesterday and our winner was Tammy Whiting. So in order to get, you can get entered anytime we go live or you never know when I, when I put out a post or something where you can earn an extra bonus entry, but Type the keyword and you automatically get entered into our weekly drawing. If you watch all of our lives and enter each of those keywords, you'll get entered that many times, that many more chances to win. So let's see. Did that not work for Sherry? Yes, it did. Oh, did it? Okay. Let me say I didn't. I always go through and check and make sure if it doesn't, if it, if my bot doesn't send you a message, I go through and make sure you get the information. Not so, lollipop. Not lollipop. He never did pay attention in school. Well, I think I think he'll get it anyway, because I actually just put in pop. <laughs> so he got it from lollipop. Ha ha. Got you anyway, Ken. Good job, Ken. So you, when you get that note, you'll get a little message to your messenger saying, guess what? You're entered into our drawing. We'll, call, we'll notify you if you win. And there's also some optional buttons you can click if you want some more information, like about the products that I use tonight, about uh, my VIP club you can join, or how you can get uh, free notifications to your, to your uh, messenger right before I go live. So... Feel free to check anything out there on that messenger. And before we get started, I got I got some happy mail in the mail. Do. This you, was you do the happy mail. I'm gonna fix the background. What, what are we doing? Is my, I don't know what you did here, but oh, somebody did something. Probably the mice, the critters. The 
Critters? No, anyway, so. we had a new we had a new product launch, Summer Brations, and it came out in two parts. One was a week ago Thursday, and one and the second half was just last Thursday. Today I got my order for that second half, and I just wanted to quickly show you some of the awesome things that I got that I'm going to be crafting with. Okay, I'm going to set those aside for now. Hi, Deb. Pull out some of these to show you all kinds of goodies. Did I miss any? Yeah, I missed something down there. Do, 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 do. Let me get them out. Didn't get any big surfaces so that it came in an envelope instead of a box. That's okay. Okay, let me show you. A size. Family makes this house a home special okay this one i already got but when i did my shoes remember i kind of cut it up and that bugged me too much so i ordered a replacement busy bee would you like an adventure now or would you like to have your tea first and that's a quote by j.m barry i forget what j.m barry wrote it's a very popular book story don't remember Okay, then this one is just fun, 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 and it layers all together and makes a cute little sign. Okay, B size, vacay mode. Oh, hey, vacay mode, a cute little palm tree. Um, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Love that one. Little sun, little clouds, little airplane. Little dots driving around, flying around. This one I love. Focus on the good. It's a camera and some florals. And it comes with, well, it doesn't come with. You can also get, if they haven't sold out, they may have already sold out. I don't know. Um, the chocolate chips for it. So you get a, a cutout of the camera, you get a cutout of the speech bubble, and you get a cutout of, I think it's this little floral spray. So these are the cutouts to go with this are also available. Um, like I said, unless they're sold out, they go fast. This is called Mountain Heart. Look that makes a good shirt. That is awesome. That would make a great shirt. Okay. It also has, it also has a cutout available that fits that exactly. And let's see what else. Um, this is called Sports Quotes. So they have different quotes for different sports. They've got, what, tennis. Thank you, Tammy. Baseball, football, soccer. So some little... Um, emblems and some sports quotes and also available are some cutouts to match up with the different sports icons and then let's see let's save that one for last then this one is called always in good company campgrounds the campground it's in it's intense get it the campground, it. it's intense. intense, intense. I get it. And I then don't... this is the Great Indoors Club. No. Stay home, keep cozy. <laughs> so you can have your outdoors, you can have your indoors. Okay, Tell this- me, I put something in the mail for you today. Oh, yes, you did. Thank you for sprinkling, Tammy. Hi, Alana, glad you made it home. Catch your breath, put your feet up. This is called Happy Family. It's a set of six different designs. Love lives here. A messy kitchen is a sign of a happy family. So we are an extremely happy family. Hey. And then this is a little definition, family, noun, the people you live for, laugh with, and love forever. Then there's home is where our story begins. Please excuse the mess. Our standards have lowered with each child. We can't really use that anymore with each animal, maybe. And welcome to our beautiful chaos. 
And then this beauty is etched peonies. Etched peonies. So it's it's kind of a beautiful outline. This is going to be gorgeous when I do it up in watercolor. So just you wait for that. And then this beautiful pattern, this is called an Aztec pattern. So I've seen this used so many different ways. I've seen the whole thing used on a pillow. I've seen just the center part used on a pillow. I've seen just one of the little motifs used on something. So very versatile. And that's what was in my order. So fun, fun, fun. We got lots of work to do. Let me put these away. Guess what I know what I want to be doing for the next month. What are you going to be doing for the next Helping month? You. Paying for them? All this stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, go, to, go get a these. job. Okay, you're so these, not me. what we're going to do tonight is one of the, not the newest one from the second half of the release, but the first half of the release. We are going to do Life is Sweet. And with our our little assortment of popsicles. That's why the key word is popsicle. Hey, Nana's Crafty, this Nana's Crafty. Welcome, Roberta, hello, glad to see you here. Wow, Ken. <laughs> I, I don't know which one, but I think it was the roses. The, the peony? Were... The peony, the etched yeah, peonies, peonies, which are kind of a, a rosy looking thing. Anyway, we're gonna do this. We are going to put it on my wonderful husband, cut out some little wood shapes that match up with the popsicles. So we are going to actually chalk it on these pieces and the Life is Sweet is gonna go on there. And we're gonna put the whole thing on a pizza pan. Yay for the pizza pan. Hello, Tara. Tara, no, the child one. Oh, the standards lowered. Yeah, totally, totally agree. So let's get started. Last summer, I bought stamps in those ice cream motifs. Stamps like postage stamps? That'd be cute. I don't remember seeing anything that cute, but I get the, I get the, what are they? The, the everlasting ones, the, what are those? The stamps that never expire and usually, hmm? Postage stamps, forever stamps. Forever stamps. I usually get those and I usually just get them in the flags. And I buy them in the roll of a hundred. So they last me a good long time. Okay, so I'm going to paint this. I saw somebody do this once and I have done it ever since. Instead of doing the inside of this pizza pan, you do the back of the pizza pan. So it kind of, it the lip goes down. So, I, I don't know why it just it just kind of works a little better for me and I'm going to start I'm going to sand this just because I'm going to put paint on it and I want it to get as much grip on this metal as I can okay that's horrible I bet they were there, I gave you a love you. Do you guys there. still send out letters? How often? Tell me. That cup, I like that cup. Looks just like it is a mason jar. It is. This is an actual mason jar, although I've never seen that shape before in mason jars, but it is. So it's, it's a ball, ball jar. Yeah, ball. And then it can, comes with this special lid and you can buy those on Amazon. Can you? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I won this in a in a drawing or something. I thought about buying a six pack of them. So, but this is glass. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm putting a little elbow grease in here because I want this to stick really well. Birthdays and Christmas cards only. Birthdays and Christmas cards only. Okay, so back to my question. Uh, on average, in a month, how many things do you send out in the mail with a stamp? on average or are you like can and only for christmas and birthdays which if you have enough birthdays that gets that gets up there 
Okay, we are gonna paint this yellow. So I've got my Waverly chalk paint. This is the color Maze. It's not neon yellow. Nana okay, zero. zero. Nana says zero. So it's kind of a buttery yellow, but I think it will be great. And I'm going to paint this not with a paintbrush, but with a sponge. You have probably been with me when I painted with a sponge before. Now I don't, this is just a sponge from the Dollar Tree. They're called nail guard sponges, I guess, because you can put your nails in that groove there and, and not ruin your nails as you're doing your dishes or whatever. Anyway, this, not, not this part, but this part makes a great well, brush. Right. So I'm going to Na actually- Nana is Ruthie. Ruthie, that's right. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to cut this in half. One thing we have learned, Ruthie, Nana, is that when you, you are welcome to come on here for as your business page, but if you do any of the commenting to get a link, it won't send it to a business page. That's something that, that's something that Facebook's, one of their rules, a business page can't message a business page. So if you are interested in getting into our drawing, you'll need to go out. You don't have to do it right now, but go out, come back in again as your personal page and you can comment and you'll get entered. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm not even gonna put this out on anything. I'm just gonna kind of drip it here. And I'm going to paint. I'm probably gonna have to do a couple of coats. But I'm just gonna paint with my sponge. Whoops, that was a big glob that I just tossed around. And this works out pretty good. It gets it gets into those nooks and crannies. This doesn't work very well on smaller objects that you might be painting, but on a, something big like this, works great. You know what dawned on me a little while ago about this last, I think it was the last time you did a sponge paint. Hmm. Um, my, dad, my dad was a painter for the Riverside City Schools and he would do painting like this, but he would use lamb's wool. And it dawned on me, they didn't have um, man-made sponges like this then. So he had to use lamb's wool because it gives you that fine. Mm -hmm. But because this is a man-made sponge, it doesn't mm -hmm. have the natural sponge opening. Yeah, so it's a little so more not, controlled. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have been doing this too. Probably. Okay, so this is, I'm going to have to do a second coat because it's kind of streaky. But I guarantee you if I did this with a brush, I'd still have to do a second coat. So let me... Dry this up and put on a second coat. Okay, Alana says Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, April Fool Day, Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day. Oh. Oh, I did about 15 a month. You send out a lot of cards. Good for you. We, you must have the, the ministry of Hallmark. We have a lady at our church who that is her spiritual gift, is sending out greeting cards for every anniversary, every birthday. Certain people, her, like her closest group of friends, get Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So that is that can be a ministry all on its own. Hey, Maud. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We are... If, if you are just joining us, we are doing the Life is Sweet transfer. We are putting it on some of our cutout, our wood cutout popsicles. Oh, and these are also now available in our, in our store. And I think the link, did you post the link in there? The link is in the, the one that I posted. The link is also in if you type that keyword popsicle, you'll get that, you'll get, um, you get the message to your messenger. You get a couple of buttons to choose from. If you click on product info, one of the next buttons comes up is uh, the cutouts. So you can get a link to purchasing the cutouts if you're interested in those. Okay, let's do a second coat. 
same as the first. Here, I just posted it again. Again. And that should be the link directly to this item. You can, you're welcome to take a look around and see some of the other items we have. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of current ones for current chalk transfers, but take a look around if you like. If you guys order those, it'll keep me busy for it'll a while. Keep I him busy. Okay. I might even do a third coat on this just to make it look smooth. Schmoof, schmoof, and solid. You didn't have anything better to do than watch me dry paint, right? Let's dry this again. Well, you can have two ministries, Alana. Don't limit yourself to one ministry. Because believe me, it does minister to people. It's relaxing. It's, it, it's too much pressure for me to remember everything, to remember everybody. <laughs> okay, now you have to be careful when you're this is my embossing gun, so this gets really hot. So be careful when you're heating, when you're drying on your metal. It gets, it gets that metal pretty hot too. saying a thing. He's thinking though. He's thinking things. How do you know I'm thinking? I anything? can tell. Smoke coming out your ears. Okay, let's do one more. One more coat. And if that doesn't do it, well, we're going to stop there anyway. I want to get in there first. <laughs> He's going to have to make a run to shakies. Get himself a pizza pan. No, go to Dollar Tree. He doesn't get a pizza that way. Oh, well, that's true. Well, they might have pizza. Not in a pan, though. Mom says that's a pretty yellow. It is. It's not super burn your retinas bright, but uh, it's a very calming yellow. And let's do this top part one more time. And then, and then, good, we get to paint up all of these little popsicles, too. You didn't do a set earlier? No, I didn't. I even cut I two didn't. sets so you could. So I could, but I didn't. Shame on me. That's all right. Those won't take, those won't take multiple coats. Those should go fast. We're gonna we're gonna paint those in white. I'm just getting that. That's pretty good. And I'm kind of going over. I'm kind of pulling it away from those edges, not on purpose, but okay. So I'll put the lid on this. Now this, if you let this dry, then you can't use this sponge anymore for painting. But if you dunk it in water and rinse it out before that paint dries, you can use this sponge over and over again. So you're, what it costs probably, each one of those probably costs a quarter. I cut this in half, so it's like 12, 15 cents. So I'm gonna just stick that in water so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to do one more dry.
Okay, so I'm going to set this aside, let that continue drying, and I've got my popsicles and my little sign, and we're going to paint these white. And I am going to use a brush for these. Okay, let me make sure I have them the right way. This goes that way. That one goes that way, that way. These don't matter. This doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so let's get to painting these up. And I get, I'm just using white chalk paint for this, just so it has a background. Sorry. She's getting my, violent. My paint has dried in the lid. She's getting violent. But I can get it. I just duck when she does that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to paint. I'm going to, this has, because it's it's uh, made from a wood burner. Uh, is that what it, was that what we call it? It's a laser, laser burner? engraver. Laser engraver. Anyway, it kind of burns the the edges that it cuts. You can either like that or not. I kind of like it, so I'm trying not to paint over that dark edge. I kind of think it will look cool to have a dark edge. Tammy's um, going for number two. She just said popsicle. <laughs> it only works one time, but. No, she, she can be in the next next week. This no, week, I, no, I thought you meant she tried typing popsicle twice. No, no, oh yes, no. she can win next week. Absolutely. We'll and you can say if you type popsicle twice on the same live, it will only send you the will only send you the link once. We'll find her some different happy mail next yeah. week. So your happy mail went out in the mail today. And again, if you're interested in these wood cutouts, these are something that Bill makes and we sell them on our Square site. So there's a link to them in the pinned comment. And I posted it again. And it's also on the little bot message that you get to your messenger if you type in the keyword, which is popsicle. Okay, how many of you, speaking of popsicles, that's what I should have had you get. Yes, you should have. That's what, what? We need I can popsicles. remember, I can remember the ice cream man coming around. Do you remember the ice cream man and what kind of popsicle would you get? Or oh. did you get to get them? I did not. You didn't get to? No. I remember getting Big sticks. We'd go to Tunison's Dairy and get big sticks. Yep. I didn't often get ice cream man, but uh, I or I would get the bomb pops. Those red, white, and blue mm -hmm. bomb pops or big sticks. Those were my favorites. Okay, now we're my. I bet a lot of remembers Tunison's Dairy. Mm hmm. It was sad when it when it closed down. Ken might even remember Tunison's Dairy. Okay, let's do. Let's paint some popsicles. Again, I'm trying not to paint over that dark edge. But if you don't like the dark edge, you can certainly paint over it. Oh, good news today, too. Keep answering about popsicles. Um, we just found out that our reels on Facebook have been monetized. So they'll, they'll start throwing in little advertisements but we start getting we start getting a few pennies every time somebody watches it we are up to a whopping 15 cents we have earned 15 cents from facebook so look for our reels and watch them and 
Give us a thumbs up, but give us a comment. It's pennies in our pockets. <laughs> I don't know how they I don't know how they figure out how much to pay you. I'm sure there's a formula, but Ken would do big sticks, but he loves scooter pies. Ooh, scooter pies. Those weren't ice cream. Yeah, but he loves them. Okay. Yeah. I do too. Well, I did. Banana fudge. Ooh, sometimes I'd get sometimes I would get a drumstick. Sometimes, but I was always disappointed, I'd get the snow cone, but it was never as good as a fresh snow cone, like when you went down to, oh, say, the baseball field right next to your house, and you bought a snow cone from the, from the snack bar, or somebody hit a home run, and you returned the baseball to them. Mm -hmm. And they would give you a free ice cream. I've got several snow cones that way. Those were the days. If it was 1950, you could buy a cup of coffee. Not from the ice cream man, though. <laughs> Banana fudge sickles. I don't think I ever got... Um, chocolate covered bananas from the ice cream man, but I learned to like those as an adult. Especially during my dieting I phase. I know, but I'm saying, I'm, I'm thinking chocolate covered frozen bananas, chocolate covered frozen bananas. I learned to like those as an adult, especially during dieting phase because, hey, it's a banana. It's a fruit, uh -huh. right? <laughs> well, I was saying... If it was 1950s, you could have gotten a cup of coffee with that. Uh, oh, with 15 the 15 cents. cents. Yeah. That's true. Uh -huh. That's true. Okay. So I've got all of my little popsicles painted. Let's put this in some water. Let me get another drink. Oh, green sickles. Mm. Now you're just making. Are those the. Were those like 50 50 bars? Mm hmm. Well, they, they had vanilla and orange all mm -hmm. around them. Yeah, those oh. were, we called them 50 50 bars. But I think they also called them creamsicles. Roberta said they never had an ice cream. They never cream had an ice cream man. Do you feel like you had a horrible childhood not having an ice cream man? Do you even know what an ice cream man is? Do you know what we're talking about? I think they should bring them back. Because we need more ice cream being delivered to our doors. Ooh, push pops too, yeah? I guess I did hit the ice cream man quite a bit. Like I said, I grew up living next door, well, there was a church on the corner, we were next door, and then on the other corner was a ballpark, a, a city park. They played baseball there a lot. So that was a place that the ice cream man would frequent because there'd be lots of children because back then parents let you go out without supervision all day long, just had to be home when the streetlights came on. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Okay, now my hands have paint all over them, so I'm going to take just a minute to clean up my fingertips. And then we're going to... We're, were you just off of California? No, I was just off of Mitchell. I was at the corner of Mitchell and Gramercy. And well, not quite the corner. The church was at the corner. Donner's Field, Donner's Field is what it used to be called. Then it became La Sierra Park. I probably interrupted makeout sessions by Mike and Joanne, not knowing them yet. <laughs> Donner's Field was the only place that had actual dugouts for Pony League and in Little League. Mm -hmm. And, and we used to always sit on top of the dugout roof. 
And that's where Mike asked Joanne to marry him. Okay. I think we're dry. I'm going to put my sticky transfer down on this painted surface. And so I want to wax them. So I've got my surface wax, sell it in my shop. It's in the cart link. You were right where we kept our horses. Where, did you keep your horses behind us off of La Sierra? Because we had horses in our, butting up against our backyard. Mm -hmm. But you entered that place off of La Sierra. Yeah, we were that house that was way in the back. We uh, got, had front row seats to the fireworks every year. Okay, so I'm putting wax on this because sticky, sticky transfer on freshly painted wood, the stickiness can actually pull up the paint. So I'm just putting this little layer of protection down so that it won't do that. Roberta says yes, she knows about the ice cream man. Okay. Get some brands and stop the truck. Oh, okay. And ours used to always play Turkey in the Straw. I don't know if you guys remember what tune yours played. Ours always played Turkey in the Straw. Well, Anna says her horses were on Mitchell across La Sierra. Do Mitchell and La Sierra cross? No, they're parallel. they're parallel. Well, Mitchell, no, that's Arlington. No, Mitchell and La Sierra don't cross. Maybe Arlington and La Sierra? There was some horse property back there. there. Western Hills or something like that. Those fancy houses. That's where Doug Schiller lived, was in Western Hills. Mm -hmm. This old home week here on Raincross Farms Makery. Okay, I've got those waxed. I'm not going to wax this. I'm going to show you why in a little bit. Okay, let me get this paper off of here. You sure have done a whole lot of prep work. I you have. I have. Yet. And it's 40 minutes in. Okay. So here's our you know what transfer. What would have been helpful what? is if you had had a second set of those, you could have had painted ahead of time. That would have been helpful. I know where you sleep. Huh? I know where you sleep. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to fuzz this. Now there's not a whole lot that is going to stick because wherever it's white, that is screen. Wherever it's green, that is sticky on the back. So there's not a whole lot for it to sticky to. This would be cute on a shirt. All those little popsicles on a shirt. So let's sticky those up. And let's... You're right, Ken, probably. Let's see if we can match these up. Now these newer transfers are a little bit more see-through which is awesome because I can lay this down and I can make sure I've got it centered just how I want it. So that border goes all the way around. Okay. So let's put our, let's see if we can get them all in. I don't know. They might be too wide. So Bill made this about an eighth of an inch wider than the transfer. So you're gonna see the white border. And let's see, this is the oval one. Quick, what is the digital? No, that's the wrong term. Sleep with the dogs tonight. Yeah, you will, you always do. <laughs> That's just what we do. What is the word for tonight? Popsicle. Popsicle. 
So I've got I got a lot of people interested in our weekly drawings. You had like fifty something. I had well, it wasn't fifty five different people, but it was fifty five entries. Mm. So it was consistently fifteen to twenty people per live wanting to participate. Okay, that's done. And while I've got it, I might as well put this one down. Well, this one's a little bit wider. That looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these colors. I'm going to do some couture teal. I'm going to use some wild lime. I'm going to use some currant jam. And I'm going to use some guava. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And for the popsicle sticks, I'm going to use camel. That kind of reminds me the color of popsicle sticks. Okay, let's see. Let's work on Life is Sweet. And I think I'm going to do that in the current jam. And I haven't used this for a while, so I definitely need to stir it up. I kind of want that, that pretty color to pop out. So this is chalk paste, chalk in paste form. Sell it in my shop in dozens and dozens of colors. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of this paste. It's kind of thin, so I'm gonna be very careful going over this. So I'm just gonna push that paste through the screen. You don't have to push hard. Probably could have done this in an ombre too, but that's all right. We've got enough going on. We'll have enough colors and whatnot. Okay, that was kind of a clump of paste. Okay, I'm gonna scrape off any excess and put that back in my jar. I'm going to peel this up. Cute, 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 cute. Life is sweet. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna set that down. Now, I don't want I don't want to get any of that paste on my surface, so I'm just putting this, I'm just putting this underneath it to catch any of that wet paste. And let's see. <laughs> let's do, let's do our popsicle sticks first. So this is, what did I say? This is camel. And I'm going to use my multi-tool to chalk this. It's just a little bit thinner than my regular squeegee. Gives me a little bit more control. And I'm just going to chalk all of those sticks. Teresa, I will follow up one way or the other. We'll make sure you're entered. Did it not work? She said it's not in her messenger. Okay. It popped up on my um, screen, but not in hers. Check um, message requests sometimes, but you should you should get it because I just texted you to I just messengered you today. So I will I will double check. It should work. Maybe it's just taken a minute. Usually it goes instantly, but it looks like it worked. Looks like it worked. I mean, on our end, it's saying it sent it sent something to your messenger. Okay, popsicle sticks. Let's 
lift these so that that paste doesn't dry in the screen. And then I'm going to lay this back down. I'm not going to push down where I've already chopped, but I am going to push down where I still need to. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do, I'm not going to use this anymore. So I'm going to clear that away. I'm going to get a wet paper towel. Hello, Cheryl. Okay, uh, we are going to use some of that. We are going to let's do let's do this guy here in our teal and our wild lime, and this needs to be stirred. My spring colors I haven't used a lot. So I'm finding I need to stir them up. Wild Lime, this should be brand new. This is one of our newest colors. Hey, Cheryl. And I think I just, I feel like I have paste, green paste on my lip. Yep, I do. So, I thought it was your new lip gloss color. Yep, that's it. Okay, so let's do let's do this top part. Let's, let's do this bottom part in green, and then we will do the top part in the teal. And again, I'm using my multi tool because this there's little sections here, and it's just easier to not go outside the lines when I have a smaller squeegee. Okay. And let's use, let's use one of these for the teal. Let's see if we can get in there. Be a cute little popsicle. I don't know what flavor it is. Teal flavor. I just wanted to use my teal paste. Okay, so let's peel this one off. Cute, cute, cute. It's my little popsicle. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. And let's go to this one. How about we do this one in guava and guava. currant jam? So stir it up. Okay. And let me get two little squeegees. So let's do, let's do the current jam first. Here's the current jam. Let's do the guava. I asked, did everybody get a notification of you going live? Mm -hmm. Alana said she didn't. 
She was getting them pretty consistently, and then a few days ago, they stopped. Okay. What I think is happening is that it's only, when you sign up for it, they only sign you up for it for six months, and then you have to re-enroll. So if you would, if you want to get notifications again, try um, going to that messenger and clicking the button that says get notifications and see if it will let you sign up again. Okay, here's our next little popsicle. Okay, and you know what? Let's go back to, I kind of like that teal and green. So let's, let's go back and do some more teal and green. Teresa says pretty colors. Thank you. You can do whatever colors you want. This would be so cute in your house. It would also be adorable in a kid's room, don't you think? Except they'd always want popsicles they'd always want, in every they'd time always they come want out there. Can I have a popsicle? Well, guess there are worse things in life. My lime, my wild lime. I'm sticking my tongue out because I'm concentrating. Hope I'm not boring you all. my lime. Let's peel this one out. Cute, cute, As cute. As you should, Cheryl. Cute, cute. Oh. oh, good. That one's dry. Cute, cute, cute. Cute colors. Okay. And this one, let's go back to, let's, let's switch well, these two around. Lime is pretty. I think so too. Okay. Let's Let's go back to this current jam and guava and let's switch it. Let's do guava at the bottom. I'm gonna go back to my multi-tool. There's my guava and my current jam. I had just thought of a question I was going to ask, and now I can't remember it. Now I can't remember it. I already asked you the ice cream questions, the popsicle questions. Okay, I'm going to ask, is there anybody out there who has never tried chalk couture? This type of chalk paste and transfers... Who has never tried it? I need to know who is who's a newbie. Here's Mom this, says she loves the color combination. This guy. To be honest, I cheated. I I took the the sample off of the lookbook, and I'm kind of duplicating that. Changing up a, a thing or two here and there. And then let's do 
Let's get more, let's do lime, teal, and guava on this one. Because this one's a triple decker. Has anybody never used chalk before? Ken, have you ever used chalk before? Switch over to our teal. He's old enough to have used a chalkboard. I bet, I bet Ken knows somebody who would use it. He says his last three messages haven't shown up. Okay, you Get might be, time, buddy. you might be at that six month mark also. So if you would like to get the messages, try to re-sign up for notification. Well, no, you just signed up. You haven't been doing it for six months. I don't know what's going on. I will have to ask somebody who knows my program and find out what's going on. Okay. And our final popsicle. Julie, the magic word tonight is popsicle. If popsicle. You want to type it in, we entered in the weekly drawing. Okay, so I've got this all messy. What did you do? I'm going to lay this down on my uh, Dollar Tree dish drying mat, and I'm going to. I'm not quite ready to clean it, so I'm just going to spray it with water so that that paste stays damp because it's easier to clean when it's damp than when it's dry. Not impossible, but easier. So when I'm done, I'm going to, um, I'll probably go upstairs to the sink, run cool water over this, and then I will wipe it down with this board eraser. We don't use chemicals, we don't use soap. We just clean it with this board eraser and you just, not scrub, but you just kind of wipe off all of that paste and you get that screen clean let it dry, put it back on its backer sheet, and you're good to go. Reusable, guaranteed 10 to 12 times, but I know you can get more uses out of them if you clean them up promptly. Okay, let's make sure all of these are dry. And, and we're going to decorate the outside of our pizza pan. So I need your, I need your opinion. This is, this is what I found. First of all, I'm going to clean these up so they don't dry out. sticking those in a water bath and I will clean them off in water later. I could have done these also with my shimmers, but this good. Yes, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. So here's my pizza pan. I have thought I could, well, I, I have this, I have some rope. This is what nautical rope from Dollar Tree, pizza pans from the Dollar Tree. So I can go around this pan with this rope and it will kind of look like that. I also have, this is also from the Dollar Tree. This is pom-pom trim. Is that not cute? I have also thought, well, I could, I could put the pom-pom trim there on the edge, or I could do both. I could put the pom-pom trim here and then put the rope on top. So you tell me, what do you think? Let me see if I can kind of get you how it would look. Okay, so here is, 
here's the rope with the pom-poms. Here's just the rope. Or I could just do just do the pom-poms. So everybody vote. What would you like? Rope, pom-pom, or both? Rope, pom-pom, or both? While you are typing in your choices, I'm going to punch some holes in this so that I have a place to hang it. So I like, not in the past I've given it to Bill and said, here, can you drill some holes? Then I got this baby, this is my big daddy. Both. Big daddy, palms. what is this called? Palms. Um, palms. Just the palms, just palms. the palms, just the palms. Oh, that's the crocodile. Or is that the crocodile? Yep, it says right here. Crocodile. So this is the big daddy. Looks like we're doing palms. Okay, we will just do the pom poms. So of course, I, I have eleven people watching. I only got one, two, three, four, five. That's all right. Not everybody's not everybody's voting, but that's okay. So this is a is a big big daddy hole punch. It also mounts snaps and rivets and all of that too. But I am going to line this up and I'm going to punch that hole and that punched a hole right there Yay. and Best then I'm going to ever yes so I got this off of Amazon they're also available they're also available in, in craft stores um, I've not seen the not all of them carry the big daddy the Big Daddy has two different size hole punches, a 1 8 and a 3 16. I just did the 1 8, so it's just a little tiny hole. And then I've got some wire. This is this is 22 gauge, so it's pretty, pretty thick. Ken says, rope or no stars. <laughs> Holding hostage now. Is that how it is? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of make myself a little hanger out of this wire. Don't cut wire with your scissors. Don't cut it with your scissors. wire cutters. I'm looking up that crocodile there. Okay. Yeah, he can give you the link if you're interested in the Amazon link for it. Yeah. Is that the big bite punch number two? Yes. Big bite punch number two. Okay. And, okay. and we are a, a um, associate, so we'll get like 12 cents from this or something like that. <laughs> yeah. If so we are know. Amazon associates, so if we ever give you an Amazon link, um, we need to notify you that we do get a small commission on that. It does it not. It does not cost. It does not cost you any more to do that, but they do require that we inform you. Okay. Well, Ken, I'm gonna go with the majority, and I'm just gonna do the pom poms. And you know what? I might after the live. I might put the rope on it later. I'll send you a picture. Okay, now I have to decide, do I want the pom-poms going up? Okay. One of these, you just got to make your own decision I know. on this here. Do I want, do I want the pom-poms going up over the edge? Or do I want them going down over the, over the, that edge? I'm going to, I'm going to ask you, Bill, what do you think? That way? Or the other way? Or that way? I like how the green fills up the groove that way. This way? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, it could still, I could do it and still fill that up the would, groove that, that way. That would work too. Okay. That works. Okay. So we're going to put them on the inside. And I'm going to. Okay. Laura says down. up and over. Ken says, uh, you guys. You just well, you do what you got to Everybody says up and over. Fine. Go with what they want. I'm okay with that. I'm going <laughs> to go with... Well, this 
is up and over. All right. I, I, you know what? It's a method of up it's and over. It's all good for okay. me. I got Duke on my lap. I'm a happy man. And I'm going to, this was, this was a Dollar Tree find. I was excited. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to go from left to right, because I think that's how my brain works. And I'm going to put just a little bit of glue down. And I'm going to try to not burn my fingers in the hot glue. Don't burn yourself. So I'm going to get this out. Push that down. And spin it. So you don't have to do anything here, but it just kind of finishes it up a little bit, I think. Now these are probably not super high enough quality trim that you'd want to put them on, on clothing and wash them. I don't know how well they'd hold up. But for, we got it in the crafting aisle, for right? a craft, yeah, for a craft like this, seems to work fine. I also pulled out some rickrack too, but. Okay, that didn't stick. Go back and glue that again. Oops. Looking cute. This is a long project tonight. Thanks for sticking with me. We're almost done. I'm going to do one other special thing before we put on our popsicles. What other kinds of things? I mean, the pie, the pie tin, the pizza tin is one thing. What other things could you put this on? Um, well, I'll show you another option in a moment. But like I said, you could put this on a T-shirt. You could put this on just a plain board. You could, you could, if you got the little cutouts, you could. I could see you doing a like a tiered tray with with the life is sweet and the and the popsicles all over it. You could do it on, you could um, chalk them on cardstock and cut them out and kind of attach it to a banner. You could make a pillow cover. You could put it on a tote bag. What else am I thinking? Okay, I don't like that one. I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna have to end up fixing that one. That was a little mangled. Try not to get your pom poms in the glue. Let's 
trim that right there. So here's our little, and this one, this one's kind of janky, so I'm gonna have to fix that. So there's our little, this looks like a little pinata. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo hat. Okay, so what I was thinking before was putting this on it too, but I don't think, I think you were right to not do both. Okay, because this is metal, and I might wanna change it up, I'm gonna put magnets on the back of these. And that way I can kind of move them around if I want to. So these are magnetic adhesive magnetic tape strips. And I got this at, pretty sure I got this at Walmart. They're peel and stick, but I am gonna put on a little bit more. I'm gonna put on a little bit of hot glue just to make sure they hold. And I'm going to feed that one in. Okay, so let's see. I've got five. I'm gonna just trim these in half with just scissors. And okay, let me peel this off. I'm not gonna trust that to stick. So I am gonna put just a little bit of hot glue. Stick that on the back. And voila, look at that! My popsicle sticks. Wait, your popsicle uh, my sticks? My popsicle sticks, yes. Okay, next one. Peel it off. How does wood stick to it? You said your popsicle stick. I'm so confused. You are. You are confused. Okay, that one. Let's do this one. So, how many of you like the magnet idea? Or how many of you would rather just, just glue, glue it on? I could see that being, a, you know, you talked about putting it in a kid's room. Mm -hmm. I could see making the magnet thing. At, yeah, that'd be fun. As long as they, I mean. You could put them on your refrigerator. You could put them on your refrigerator. Absolutely. That was, that was a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? No, Laura said it's a great idea. There you go. Laura's got my back. So if you did put this in a kid's room, I would probably go over the base and these pieces with clear, um, coat. clear coat just because, and, and I still would not encourage kids to put them in their mouth, although our Very paste good. is non-toxic. So our paste would be fine. Probably, maybe mod. I don't know if Mod Podge is not non toxic. They might have new gl gloss, lip gloss they might. color. New lip gloss color. That, with there you go. Off. Yeah, they might. Okay, this so here's a cute, cute idea. Okay, cute, and cute, then cute. let's get another strip and put it on the back of our Life is Sweet. And let's. Only you would put all the popsicles in a straight line. You do you. If you want them, um, if you want oh, them, I will. Because the you're not because looking. they come in a straight line on the transfer. You're you're uh. The minute you're not watching, you know what I'm doing. You know, I know that same way. You taught the boys. I taught my boys right. You taught the boys. We have these um, blocks, like three and a half inch square blocks, that say that. Each, each block has a letter on it and it spells out Merry Christmas. And on the back side, it says we are blessed. So we can use it for uh, Thanksgiving time or Christmas time. 
Well, when my kids come, they so enjoy rearranging the blocks to spell random words. That is their great delight. And I kind of like it too, because it gives them a memory, even though they're what is what, your favorite 35 and 37. Do you remember any of them? All I remember is, oh, who was it? Mr. Mr. That's what I'm trying to remember. I, I, I take remember. pictures of them. I think they spend all all year. Mr. Scramshy. Scrimshaw. Scramshy. Scramshy. That's right. Mr. Scramshy. 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 Okay. So this one's got three on the back to hold it on. Ta-da! Cute, cute, cute. If you don't like them in a row, you can rearrange them. See, see. There you go. And they would twist too. So, cute, cute, cute. Now, another option. If you don't like the pizza pan look, this is our eight by nine by twelve Aiden frame. This is a magnetic surface. So I can put them here, and boom, I have it on an even fancier surface. Fancy, fancy. Ta-da! Do I say it now? Do I say it now? Cute idea, yes. And That's like he so said, cute. you could put these on your refrigerator. You don't have to have a frame at all. You can just get the cutouts and the transfer and some magnets and you'll be good to go. Okay, so I think I'll probably fashion some sort of, a, maybe not a bow, but something, some sort of embellishment to go on this or not. I don't know. We shall see. But this is basically our project tonight. Well, so, the, the oh my goodness, we went pan. we went really long. <laughs> yeah, my 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 <laughs> pizza sombrero. <laughs> pizza pan sombrero. Anyway, cute, cute, cute. I like it. I hope you like it. And again, if you haven't already, even if you are watching the replay, if there's a red box up here that says live, you're watching it live. If it's not there, you're watching replay. That's okay. You can still comment that keyword popsicle and be entered in our weekly drawing. We've been, well, the one we've had, we, we did our drawing on Sunday evening. And so you want to get entered as many times as you can. So I'm planning on going live again tomorrow. I want to do something with the club and another chance to get entered. So remember, life is sweet. Let me pose. Thanks for staying extra. You, you all get extra credit for staying so late. And thanks. They, oh, Ken, thank you. Even without the rope, Ken, would I have gotten 500 if I had put the rope on? <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, everybody, and have a great rest of your week, and we will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye-bye.